When Jola Law first laced up her basketball sneakers, it took her on a journey as a four-time Kodak All-American in high school. She won a Big Ten championship at Iowa four straight times. She was a Harlem Globetrotter, the first female to do so. And she was an assistant under C. Vivian Stringer for more than a decade. But now she's taking a step that she hasn't. She's trying to move forward by leaving her sneakers behind. Focus! Focus! Good! Hold your follow through! I can even think back. Some of my kindergarten teachers remind me today that I used to come to you know, kindergarten with a different pair of shoes on. And I, ever since I was a little girl, I just loved shoes. Good job, Ab! Illinois women's basketball head coach Jolette Law loves shoes so much that for one game, she decided not to wear them. Well, I'm going to coach barefoot um, to bring awareness to people across the country about the impoverished kids in South Africa and the Caribbean, um, all across the country. You know, some of these kids don't have any shoes. And I'm just trying to coach barefoot to make people just go out and donate just $10, $5, or a pair of shoes to some kids that are less fortunate. Coach Law is one of thousands of basketball coaches across the country who participated in Barefoot for Bare Feet, an event in support of a nonprofit organization called Samaritan's Feet. I started when I was at the Final Four, um, some other of my colleagues were talking about it, and they were like, uh, Jolette, you love shoes, this would be a good cause for you. When I start listening in and finding out you know, what it was all about, I you know, came back raving to my staff about, man, this is so cool. I donated money and donated shoes, but then they said, I want you to coach barefoot. And actually, when the thought came to my mind, I'm like, I have to coach with no shoes on? I really didn't, I couldn't grasp the idea, but then I said, if that's what I have to do to bring awareness to other people, I'm willing to do it. In addition to preparing the Illini for their game against Penn State, Let's get it. Coach Law made other preparations. Hi, how you doing? I'm Carla. Hi, Carla, how you doing? I like it's sort of hot. Huh. You know what? If it works, I might come back the next game and let you do the same thing. But really, it's about the cause tonight. Because I, I normally do French, but I, I wanted to do something with some orange that would look nice. I just, I'm trying to envision this orange with the blue French. Okay. We're playing, we're playing, we're playing. I think we want to go with the classic French. I'm very basic. I think it's really classic. I think Carla did a great job. Carla and I. Thank you. Thank you. All right. And welcome back to the Assembly Hall. Fighting Illini basketball tonight. The Illini and Penn State in Big Ten women's play. Illini head coach Jolette Law again going uh, barefoot today to support uh, Samaritan's Feet. Just a great cause. She had the pedicure earlier today. And so just it's a good look. I think at first they look at it like, why is that coach? What is she doing with those shoes on? But I think once they start understanding why I'm actually doing it, I'm hoping that they will, it will touch their heart the way it touched mine. And they decide to say, wow, if she can stand there on this platform, you know, coaching for 40 minutes with no shoes on and bringing everybody aware of what's really going on across the world, I wish they would just say, okay, wow, she did this. Let me just donate $10. Or let me just donate some shoes to some unfortunate kids. The message I'm trying to say is just that right now, we're blessed, but you know, try to be a blessing to others and try to make other people smile. And to me, that, was, that's, that, that keeps a smile on my face. When I can see someone say thank you for just giving me something or thank you for just giving me your time or thank you right now for just donating shoes or thank you right now for just coaching barefoot. 